Hello, my name is Johan. Uh, welcome to the Shaven Butcher YouTube channel. I've discovered two things today. One is how fascinating it is that so, few, so many people are embarrassed about their bodies and yet so few are embarrassed about their brains. <laughs> right? And the second thing I've, I've discovered is that I'd rather be late than ugly. So there you go. Welcome. Um, not all, um, uh, not all uh, uh, fun and games here, as I often say. But now that we're wise and and more informed, let's move on to the to the shave. It's going to be Zingari Man's coconut nanas today. Coconut, pineapple, peach scent, and I want to show you the pour. Now this has been used quite a bit because I like it so much. I hope you can see it. The pour is just beautiful. I don't know how how she she blended that. It doesn't come across properly, but it looks like I don't know. Uh, it looks like a foreign planet or something. Really cool. Really nice recovery splash with the same scent afterwards. Uh, and the razor is Matti Lindholm's handmade razor double edge racer MLS 21 and in it is a brand new Astra Superior Premium Blade. I think they call them Astra Brown. That's what we're using and for brush it is the Paladin Winston 28mm Badger. So let's let's rock and roll. It's a new year so New life has started since a few hours ago. I'm eating healthy, Lee. Eating healthy and I'm exercising. So I've done it for well I'm gonna say five, six hours now and it's going really well. So I'm I'm really happy. It was so easy to start my new life. Um, please join me. On this on this journey of of healthiness, I'm hoping it lasts until nine ten tonight. Anyway, which is when I usually open up a bottle of wine and have some chips. But you know, all exercise is good. All periods of healthy eating is good, right? That's what I think anyway. Did I load this enough? wasn't concentrating. Maybe, maybe not. I have a few days of growth and I have this leather hogging or soap hogging badger brush. We'll see. Usually at the end of the day it works out fine. Um, two videos I want to mention. One is my friend Fred Shaves who just started a YouTube channel. Um, and started with the beard off with the double edged razor. That's that's brave. <laughs> Took a while to get it off because he had a handsome beard. So that was cool. Fred shaves. I'm amazed no one had that YouTube name, but there you go. Um, and he did well, and you should check him out and you should subscribe to his channel, I think. I'll put a link if I remember. Second shout out is to my buddy Matti who made this razor. Ah, looking pretty good. So, isn't, it's not thick. I usually overload more, but there's there's plenty. And I'm getting a good consistency. So looking good, feeling good. Anyway, Matti, Matti Lindholm again. I'll try and remember to link. We did a video a few days ago about straight razors and shavettes and what they like, what different kinds there are, or examples of that anyway. And sorry, pros and cons, etc. Really good, really informative. So he's not only brush maker, razor maker, soap maker, and now balm, aftershave balm maker. He is also a good 
teacher of the, the fine arts and choosing a, a single leg Fraser. Really good. I found it interesting and I'm already nerded into those things. And if you're, you know, not really experienced, you really find good use. That looks a bit bubbly. It isn't. Ah, it's quite a bit of, there's quite a bit of water in the razor. Because I rinsed it. His razor is really good too. Now I'm not an avid uh, DE shaver, so I don't have a lot of experience. I've used a few DEs and this is the one I like the most. Which tells you very little, but it's good. I'm more picky, I think. Since I'm used to straight razors. With the DE you have to work a bit harder <laughs> to get a, I think, to get a clean shape. Straight razor or chevette, you go up, you go down, you're pretty much done. With the DE you actually you have to buff and you have to, you know, so it's good anyway. And I hope he makes more of them. Hope he makes more balm. I like this balm it's a lot, still do. Not gonna use it today because Balm Master Heather at Singariman um, is just hard to beat really hard to beat okay paso uno o primero paso I'm, I'm talking a language I don't master I don't even know what it is so yeah rather rather late than ugly mind you I hate being late like I really don't like when others are late so of course no one wants to be ugly um, I'll put it this way, you know, I'm on time anyway, so so, so I, I can say I'd rather be I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway, I, I'd much rather have meetings with ugly people who are on time than anything than anything else. Does that make sense? Is that a bad thing to say? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but this business of being... Hang on. More ashamed of your body than your brain. It's, it's a joke, of course. It's, it's just a real funny... Hang on. A, up towards the nose. Yeah, that's not so scary as it is with the straight dress. I'm getting better at getting all the hair under the nose. It was a bit tricky in the beginning. Um, most people find, find it funny when you make joke of stupid people. Yeah, fuck stupid people. <laughs> well, until you start discussing what stupid is because <laughs> not everyone agrees huh there you go of course there are this is the obvious thing as you know how stupid you are if you vote conservative. Uh, I mean uh, socialist. Um, I mean liberal. But apart from those obvious truths, it's it's tricky. 
Well, you know, there's religion too. I mean, if, if you're not a Protestant, you're a bit stupid. Uh, I mean, Catholic. Um, I mean, Jewish. Yeah, you know what I mean. So those are, are obvious. But stupid is, all, is often confused sort of with opinion. For example, I often call people who refuse to be vaccinated, I call them stupid. Because I think, I know, we know, it's better for the world if more people get vaccinated. But mm, I think I actually, I actually don't know anyone who won't get vaccinated. But who am I to say you're stupid just because, you know, people don't do what I did, what I think is right. It's not right. I wish more people would get vaccinated, but calling someone who won't stupid is ignorant. So, so I'm pretty ignorant. Screw ignorant people. I'm doing a third sort of path because unlike with a straight racer, there's always some damn thing left. And even if you are stupid, let, let's say you are objectively not intelligent. Huh? We've measured it. Because <laughs> we asked you, what do you vote for? No. Uh, that's okay. Who, you know. Oh, you're stupid. Well, maybe, maybe you are. That's not your fault. If you do something evil, and then you've choose, chosen to do that. And if you do it because you're not very intelligent, fine, still no excuse. It's an explanation though. But it's okay to be stupid. Just like, you know, commenting on what people look like. Like I was joking before, and I hope you realize it's a joke. Uh, like, like you, like we did in school, and I, I'm, sh I, I'm sure I did the same thing. Look at him; he's ugly. He's got an ugly sweater. He's got an ugly nose. He's got a, you know, we'd say these things, and we do as grown-ups too, mind you. Maybe just as much. What the hell is that? Okay, the sweater could be avoided. There's no excuse for dressing poorly. <laughs> but how you look physically with your nose is racist. Come on. Now that's, that's being stupid. I'm going to rinse and I'll be back. Sing amongst yourselves. <sighs> Warm water, now cold water. Close shave. Not too much work, mind you. Yeah, squeaky, squeaky clean. Squeaky. Now, recovery balm, isn't that? Recovery splash is what Heather calls this. And it's beautiful. And I should use it way more than I do. I use it when I use the soap and I use very little. So there's loads left. Such a beautiful scent. Oh, and this was a gift. Thank you, mate. Oh, just lovely, just lovely. Thank you for listening to the to the to the country. I don't even know what I what I said. 
I may have to go back. I hope I wasn't too atrocious. Just trying to be funny. Not succeeding as usual. But just, you know, it's just, just being, just trying to be funny. <sighs> have a great week, guys and girls. And I'll see you soon. And meanwhile, stay sharp.